Hi hey guys, welcome to another video on Jay's workshop. And today I'm going to show you how to change a light bulb on a full transit connect. We're going to do oil and oil filter and air filter service. And we're just topping up the coolant. So yeah, first of all, we're going to take off this cap. Leave it a bit loose. Pull the dipstick out. We're going to release the oil. Yeah, we need a 13 socket to release this. Yeah. Okay. This is a new filter. I've just oiled the ring on the top. Now we're gonna put it back in. It's a bit difficult location to get to. You have to squeeze it plus here. And then kind of get past here somehow. This is located slowly up here. So 
To be honest, I can't see nothing. I'm just going by fill and it's screwing on to the housing. And the engine block, so I know it's in the right place. And I can't get my camera any closer to show you guys where it goes exactly. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of on. I'm just gonna give it a few tight with this. You, know, you shouldn't really, but it's in a tight location. I can't really get a full grip in my hand, so I'm gonna just do a few turns with the wrench. Two hands, guys. One okay, so now we're going to change the air filter. You need the eight millimeter socket. So I'm just going to loosen this on off. Make sure you don't lose your screws. Place them here for now. And we have one more screw in the back. Just over here. Come up now. Take the old one out. It's the old one. Put the new one in. Thanks, bro. So it just simply goes in like that. So I just hand tighten two screws, one here and that one in the back. Now I'm just gonna use the ratchet to tighten it off. We've done the oil filter, we've taken the old oil out, we've changed the air filter. Now what's left is simply to just top up the oil, check the dipstick level, make sure the level is okay. And we need to top up the antifreeze. We're gonna be replacing this battery and we're gonna be replacing one headlight also. Okay, so this particular engine takes 5.6 liters. We're gonna be putting 5W30 fully synthetic oil which is the recommended oil for this vehicle so yeah i'm going to pour this whole five liters in and then i'll be topping up 0 0.6 liters after with another bottle okay so we topped up the oil and everything now we're going to be replacing the battery which is held in with this mount it's a 13 mil socket that 
that. Just place this out of the way as well. I'm gonna just leave it there for now. What I'm gonna try and do is lift these up. Nice, definitely hold on. Oh boy. Okay, nice. So I managed to get the old battery out. Basically, I sprayed WD-40 on the snap, but it still wasn't coming out. But I managed to take the old one out just simply by levering it from here and here with a crowbar. You know, I put the new one in. It's nice and secure anyway. You know, it's tucked in nicely. So just putting on the live and the negative now. Well, I've taken off this plastic cap. Just gonna tighten it back up with the ten mil. That's it. Happy with that. So, what's left now? You said one of your headlights not working, yeah? Yeah. So we're just gonna be changing this dip beam headlight on the driver's side. To change the light on this side, what you need to do is remove this cap. But I think it's better to get your hand. Okay, so we're changing the driver's side uh, dip beam headlight. So you have to remove this cap over here. Very, very tight. Okay, I'll just leave the cap there for now. And then we need to remove the bolt. So you just wiggle off the, the connector from the back, like so. And then we have to take off the housing clip, which I'm just guessing, because I can't see. Um, Yep. Okay, so there's one that way, and one that way. Okay, excellent. So that's the bolt out. Okay. So we're going to be putting the new bulb in now. goes in like so and then we have to put the clips on again from behind to hold it in place okay then I'm gonna be pushing the connector back on and now what we're gonna do is just test that it's working. So do you wanna just turn to that? Yeah, it's working. Do full beam? Full beam? Yeah, it's working, that's fine. Excellent. So the last thing we're gonna be doing is putting a new set of Bosch wipers on this van. So to remove the old ones, you just lift this. You simply lift up the arm. There's a little clip just here, as you can see. So if you just squeeze that and push this away, it will come off like so. You see? That's how easy it is. So the driver's side will have the little spoiler thing on it like this. So what we need to do is get that in and simply just hook it on 
I'll give it a little pull so it clicks like that. So that's the driver's one. Done. The same thing for the passenger side. Just lift it up. Pull that little clip in the back. And it should just slide away. Like so. And then we get the new one. Keep it on like that. That's it, job done. So I've just buffed off this headlamp. As you can see, it's nice and clear. This is how it used to look. Don't know if you can tell, it's all cloudy. So I simply just use some tea cut. I've, I've made a video about this already, but I'll just show you guys again. So you just put some tea cut on and you just gotta work it in to the headlamps. And then all you do is buff it off. But I think this one, this side might need two coats. But anyway, you get the idea. You can see it's looking clear already, but I'm just gonna give it one more coat of polish. So yeah, guys. Um, so today I've shown you how to change the oil, oil filter, air filter, basically a service on this van. Change the dip beam headlight. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we changed the battery. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.